Jay Morris here yet again. It's been a busy couple of days. Um, yesterday, uh, I was listening to uh, Jeff C's show, and Professor Doom, Press Reset Earth, was on there along with Jeff C. And they were talking about uh, the beginning of Friday the 13th being started by uh, the slaughtering of the Knights Templar in uh, 1307 long time to hold a grudge right anyway um i was waiting for it to come up and i figured it would eventually come out and there's this article on before it's news um by project clarity uh this is definitely a slanted article um i'll leave you a link so you can check it out yourselves now the article states russia tells the world about the nwo cia Mossad mi6 plan for massacre in paris um, goes on. Stunning new report issued today by the Ministry of Defense to the policymakers of the Security Council states that yesterday's attacks in Paris can be likened to a ritual massacre and was orchestrated, directed by a secretive element cabal of Freemasons holding high positions of power within the United States Central Intelligence Agency, the French General Directorate for External Security, the British Secret Intelligence Service, Israel's Directorate of Military Intelligence, and the Vatican. And where it's phrased as appearing quotes in this report are English approximation for Russian words having no exact language counterpart. Right. Lost in translation, I get it. According to this report, the main intelligence directorate first alerted the MOD to the potential of this Friday the 13th plot a fortnight ago. 27 of October, after a highly secretive meeting was held in Washington, D.C., attended by the director of the CIA, John Brennan, director Bernard Bajolet, former MI6 chiefs John Sawyers, and former DMI chief and current Israeli national security advisor Yaakov Amidwar. The overt purpose for this extraordinary meeting of the West Top Intelligence Masterminds this report continues, was their public discussion at an event called the G, uh, CIA GW Intelligence Conference, which was also brought up on, on the show last night on Jeff C's show, Dabu 7 made an appearance and uh, brought that to our attention as well. Panel on the shared 21st century international mission where the future of the Middle East, at least from the Western perspective, was being determined. Now... A lot of stuff here. I could just go and keep on reading it. You might want to read it yourself. But uh, I'm just trying to find out the spot here where it references right here. It's funny because it says, The significance of these Freemason Jesuit plotters exacting yesterday's Friday the 13th massacre on, on Paris, this report explains is due to their secretive organization's banishment, arresting, and outlawing of all of their members on Friday the 13th, October 1307, against their declaration of innocence, and the subsequent burning at the stake of their grandmaster, Jacques de Molay, outside of the Notre Dame Cathedral seven years later on Friday 13th, March 1314. Critical to note, too, this report says, are that previous GRU warnings had been issued in 2013 that the Freemason Jesuits would take revenge for the killing of their Grandmaster after the election to the Roman Catholic papacy of the Pope Francis, the first Jesuit to be installed as Pope in the Church's entire history, on 13th March of that year, 699 years to the date after the fiery execution of Jacques de Molay in front of Notre Dame Cathedral. And in spite of the fact that Jesuits are bound by oath not to seek higher office in the Roman Catholic Church, due to their past association with the Freemasons. Through the identical connection between the Jesuits and Freemasons, this report further explains, was first document by, got documented by the United States Congress in 1913, when the oaths taken by each of these secretive organizations were discovered to be nearly exactly the same in their members pledging their allegiance to their cause against any and all governments or nations. Now, anyway, there's the whole pledge in here. Um, yeah, this is really kind of odd. It's taken a definite, like, occult turn. Um, it's just really kind of interesting. Again, 
I am very, very, very uh, hypersensitive to uh, red herrings, and you know, I'm only going to go so far down each rabbit hole. But uh, definitely worth checking out. I'm going to leave the link in the description there. And uh, yeah, there's so much going on with this. Peace out. Desperate as that sounds, yeah, yeah. Take these walls and rip them, rip them down.